Hi, I'm Jay Thomas and welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout where we're taking a look at what is new at Rod's Hot Rods and Faithful Avenue in Saskatoon. We're finally outside. Like, feels good. It does feel good. And uh, we're actually standing in the other side, like behind the new part of the showroom. Yep. The lock compound. The yep. lock compound, which is pretty cool. And you'll see behind us, there's uh, a couple of rigs that are waiting for some attention that are going to eventually make their way through the shop. Well, that's a Tornado that the guys are all bugging me about. That's going to be one killer car. It's going to be really cool when it's yeah. done front wheel drive and Tornado. then we got our uh, little Camaro yeah, here. Yeah, it's got a stroker in it and we, have, we haven't had time to even start going through it yet. And well, it, it's been really busy in the shop and it's been busy in the showroom and we sold a whole pile. Yeah, a lot this week. Right, I like a I ton back of cars. Ireland and then this bang, it just, just rolled out the door, which is crazy. Sun's shining and everyone's in the mood. Well, and we got a big show this weekend. This is like yep. we're we're setting up tomorrow and the show goes Friday and Saturday. We're talking about uh, Dragon's Rod and Custom Car Show. It's the 61st show this year. It's 61st because yeah. last year I bought a toilet seat that uh, that Seasick did <laughs> as a 60th. On as it. a 60th, right. Yeah. So big show. Uh, we're going to be there with a booth, Yeah, right? we got rods, hot rods in a booth there, just like we did last year. But And the most exciting thing, I think, is that if you're looking for some of this really cool swag that we... You know, wear here, other things. There's jackets, there's hats, there's toques, there's everything. We'll have all of our new stuff there yep. over the weekend. Some yeah. cool designs are going to yeah. be revealed, and we'll bring you some videos from with those cool designs uh, right from the, the car show this uh, this weekend. So we'll see we'll see you there. I guess we should start with uh, with some vehicles. Well, I wanted to also okay. mention, just before we forget, oh, yeah. we're going to be open here all weekend long, regular oh, hours. good. Uh, Wayne will be here on Friday, regular hours from 10 to 5, and then Murray will be here Saturday from noon to 4. So if you're in town going to the car show, we're also open here too. So I guess, you know, somebody's gonna get, I, I can see this. So they're gonna go to the car show, they're gonna get the bug, and they're gonna wanna drive home in something nice. That's You can come pick one out here at the showroom. Uh, by the way too, if you've got a cool car, I know there is the cool car corral. You can bring your car to Dragons. Yep. Even if it's not in the show, there's a place to park your cool classic hot rod, muscle car, whatever it is. Uh, outside as well. The weather looks like it's going to be pretty good. I think so. It's going to warm up, like yeah. we're hopefully plus degrees. We can, like, we can still see our breath, but it, we've been waiting so long for this that it's, it's nice. It's below zero. It feels like we should have shorts on right I now. I know. I know. The sun is shining and uh, finally it's some daylight this, hours. This is the kickoff to the cool car season. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm just dying for it. Okay, let's uh, let's kick, kick, kick things off here. We're going to head inside and uh, check out some new cars as well. Right we only got three new ones today. Um, as you can see, well, we're missing some trailers. So the yeah. our, our dually and the big long trailer is gone today. Gary's in Edmonton picking up two coming back. Scotty is uh, leaving tomorrow morning to uh, St. Paul to drop one and then Edmonton to pick up two more. Wow. And we still got two more in Edmonton to pick up after the weekend. And yeah, who knows what will happen the next few days. So. <laughs> Lots of cool stuff coming though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's going to be great. Like seven new vehicles, which is Seven awesome. new ones. Yeah. Yeah. And they're... They'll all we'll be here within the next couple days. So. Sweet. So we got new stuff now, and then there's gonna be new stuff <laughs> next video too. Okay. It's still here. First one right here. Look at this. So this is one. I want on just a little bit of a, a backup on this one. 1983 K10. Uh, we bought this as a midstream project, so it's it's almost done, but not quite done yet. Right. So the guys were working on it. I wanted them to bring it here just for the video. As soon as the video's over tomorrow morning, they're going to bring it back to our shop to kind of get finished on it. So we still got to do a little bit of interior work, um, just putting it all back together. We're just finishing it, right? This has got the new uh, newer front end, yeah, a uh, front end again it's out of a very very popular you know, suburban. That's a common thing to do with these things right now, right? To swap them into that. Yeah. Um, I had a Tonka truck, a toy when I was a kid, and it was like a bit of a bigger toy. But it was this truck. It was just yeah. that it was like yellow with the orange stripe kit in this and had the big roll bar with the with the lights on the top. But Trust me, I thought about the roll, the triple roll bar to go in here. <laughs> I think that's gotta go on here. Like oh, that would I'm just tempted. make the truck, right? With the step side. But I man, like the step sides. I think they're cool. I put miles on that little Tonka truck. And I think we still have it. I think my nephew plays with it now. Oh. But uh, this is this is the truck. Uh, it's four by four, four automatic. Four by four, yeah. Actually, all the chassis on this, it's all brand new. Like the underneath is all brand new. Yep. This is where we got to do the work. We got a new uh, uh, new seat, we yep. got to do headliner, uh, carpet, just clean it up. Yeah, it's going to get all re re refreshed in here, which is going to be great. Yeah, the outside's got newer paint. We got to polish it. 
And but the, all this, all the suspension, the, everything on the bottom side is brand new. Yeah, exactly. And so uh, all the big stuff has been done. It's just sort of the finishing details are yeah. going to get kind of tied up together and brought together, and it's going to be an awesome truck. Like it will. The way the doors close, yeah. the you know, everything. Oh, it never even popped the hood for me. Jeez. Oh, is this is this a release inside? Wow. It's not it's one after. of those. I'm, I'm guessing it is. Uh, is that it? Maybe. No, this is it. Sorry. Read, ah. Jay. Read. It's got letters on it. Ooh. Yeah, tidy. That is. Yeah. That's again very nicely well done. So, so AC the box maybe the box um, was full of parts for this truck. And we got like there's new seat belts. There's lots of parts. So I'm hoping that there's going to be all the factory AC uh, parts to make it to go back to factory. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, that'd be really nice to have all that working. Back to there. The guys said they took it for a test drive and they said it runs unbelievable. Right on. It starts, runs, drives, four by four works, everything works. And uh, it's gonna be a nice truck for someone, really nice truck. The funny thing is that like, we always talk about things coming in threes here and there are three square ball. I mean, this one right here obviously is gorgeous as well. But uh, you know, there's, there's one down there, a four by four there. There's a four by four here. And there's a four by four here. And guess what's coming home tomorrow night? <laughs> well, I'm gonna give someone away. Another one. Another short box K10 four by four. Awesome. 1978. Ooh, for the so single early. Yeah, yeah, single headlights and earlier on. I I love them. They're great and they're so popular right yeah. now. And guys are just eating them up and it's it's fantastic. Yeah. This is a cool truck. It's gonna I look like great it. when it's done. It's, it's gonna, gonna go back. To it. Get some a little bit more tidying up done. I'm gonna go back to original bumper on the back and. Just kind of put things back all together. Well, you have the bumper awesome. in the back too. What we should do when we get this one done uh, is we might park this next to our uh, 81 lowered white and gray one. Yeah, because they're uh, we'll, similar we'll, colors. We'll see that yeah. in a second. It's on the other they side look of the cool, road like there. Big and small, right? But yeah, it's kind of a similar kind, kind of, of idea. Kind of like you and me, like like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's right. our next one. Look at this. So yes. This, we had, we've always had like three of these. Does this mean you're going to find another, another couple? Well, or it's, chances are we'll probably have another three or four darts in the next week <laughs> or two. That's how Dart it swinger. This is cool. 1972 dart swinger. A um, couple of the additions. They've added a 1971 dash bezel in it. So it has the factory tack. Oh. Dash, which is kind of a nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that right there. Buried in the middle. The 72 dashes are, to be honest, are kind of ugly. Yep. So the, the, the 71 is actually a nice, uh, a nice update. Yeah, very cool, very cool dashboard on these yep. with the, the, you can't see the center of the needles, you know, which is really cool actually. The guys have this one up on the hoist, um, very nice under, undercarriage, it's like really, really nice, solid, nice car. Um, it's a really poppy color, like this really is, it shows in the video, but man, is it ever bright blue. And the paint, uh, it's just, it looks like plastic. It's just, yeah. it's... Uh, even like somebody even stuck a, a nice job of putting a... Swinger. Swinger in the back there. The chrome is beautiful in this car. Gary did some polishing on this, so it... Uh, man. Turned out pretty good. I can't believe that. Wow. Yeah, now, this, this isn't going to be here long. Nice color. This is a... Really good shape. Bench seat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, most of them are bench seats. I guess that's true. Yeah, you'd probably be spe really special to find one with the buckets in the console. So this is a newer, uh, newer rebuilt motor. Uh, it was dyno at 430 horse. Ooh. It's fuel injected. So it's not over the top, but it's a lot, for a small car, that's a lot of power. Yeah, this is, this, it really, it really isn't big, you know? It really is quite a small car. But it's even nice and tidy underneath here. Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice. Disc brakes. Yeah. Headers. Yeah, and the trunk is all finished the same blue. It's all done proper. Nice a new a radiator, keep it cool. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a lot of fun for I somebody. I said 430 horse. I think the red plug wires is an extra five horsepower. <laughs> We're gonna have to have one of our little uh, blogs when we sit down at the Mustang uh, desk there and go over, like why do people do the things that they do? <laughs> I don't know. That's one of you know that's my pet peeve. <laughs> yeah, colored plug wires. Well, might as well put purple on your white. Like. Well, I'm surprised it doesn't have blue to match Ooh. the color of the paint. That's dumb. Or orange for the block. I don't know. No, just Why do black. red? Just black's good. Just yeah, black. Black. Black is fine. Black's good. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there so much chrome on these things? Well, that's Chevy chrome. 
goes faster. It goes faster. Like under the under, yeah. you know, they all. I don't think the, Mopar should have chrome. I'm just saying. These this that this thing over here is just loaded with oh, chrome. Awesome. That makes Do, it nicer. Doesn't that make it faster? This, to me, if this had like the black crinkled uh, valve covers and the, the proper air cleaner, it would look. Mopars have a certain look underneath the hood, and I think. If you try and stay true to that, in my own opinion, they look really good. Yep. There again, my opinion. <laughs> Black plug wires. Black plug wires, exactly. Oh, look at this. Look at the custom ground strap. It's blue. Ooh. It's almost like it's a lot. Chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> nice car, though. Nice car. Love the car. Yeah, nice car. And the paint is, like, is fantastic. The yep. wheels are good. The oh, here's craters. the other thing. What? Uh, we have it on the website too. We have the uh, rallies for this car. Oh, okay. So if someone doesn't want the retro Kragers, yep. then we have rallies for it. Factory so rallies. When you say retro Kragers, are they like actually old Kragers yeah, or are they are, made to look old? No, these are the old these are the original old, old, Kragers. Old, yeah. So somebody put these on or they... they they're the old style. They're, they're the, the old ones. They're like the original ones. Not some remake, which, exactly. is, which is cool. To have vintage Kragers, that's, that's kind of neat too, right? Yep. But we do have the, the rallies, so it's good old leaf whatever springs. They want. Good old leaf springs, like a back of a half ton truck. Mm -hmm. Leaf springs. All the pins are in the back seat. <laughs> Just the one liners, eh? You can come in. <laughs> okay, so. Um, we talked about the dragons. Yes. I think we're going to take this one to the dragons, possibly. Oh, the, the debate is still on. Well, yeah, because we don't know. We, we have to have a vehicle in there tomorrow afternoon, so. I think this might be the one. Yeah. Uh, there is a dun dun dun. Yeah. What? Sold sign on it. The customers uh, agreed to let us take it to the show. No surprise though that this is uh, this is sold so quickly because this was in our last video. You know, like, this is our last video, and uh, she's we've already had sold. people come in this, in the last week just to see this truck from the video. Oh, awesome. I wanted to see it like in like in person. So well, it, uh, it's a nice truck. It is. It really is. So you know what? Maybe we we'll get to see it in person at Dragons, yeah. which is cool. It'll show very nice with the dragons. It sure will. If there's enough room in our booth, I might take our uh, 32 three window. Yep. The flame yeah. jobby. Flame jobby, yeah. The little deuce coupe, like the Beach Boys say. Okay, next one we want to talk about. This leads right into what, we were yeah. what we've been talking about this whole show. But this was, it's funny enough, because this car that we're going to show you next was in the last video you and I did right before Dragons. Last year. Last year. And it's back in the showroom. Yeah, a good friend of mine had bought it and uh, oddly enough, just traded it back today on um, towards, we had a 67 Chevy truck here, uh, that light blue one. Yep. So I, this is part of the deal that I got this car. So he was gonna put the truck into the Dragons because he had this one booked in. So the Dragons had said, wow, we're really, really looking forward to having this car there. I think they had maybe some stuff some poster boards done up or they wanted to you know make make it aware this was one of the dragons raffle cars back well that's in the day. that's what's so special about it is if you don't remember that video from last year is th this was done as a drag but like done by the club yep. by the as members one of the giveaways that as one giveaway of the giveaways right and they they not every year but most years some years they they put together a car and then it's you know raffled off basically if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I mean, all, all the proceeds from everything go to Camp Easter Seal, yeah. which is what the Dragons strive to do all the time. So this was one of the feature cars, and it was, yeah, it was sort of dug out of, out of storage a, a year ago, right? It's still got, it's uh, 29,000 original miles, yeah. roughly, roughly 29,000. Um, original, well, it's, yeah, just a nice car. It's, it's great. The difference is it's, you know, had a little bit of touch up here and there. It's had some love. And some different wheels on it now. Yeah, well, the, the who the my friend that we got it from, he did all the paint touch ups, wheels and tires, brand new dual exhaust. Look at how nice wheel. and shiny it is. I mean, uh, even last time we were we were seeing it, it was sort of you know dull, dust. Uh, yeah, dust covered dull and yeah. and and wow, the paint looks amazing now. Yeah, he did a good job of getting it cleaned up and. It really is, you know, just a nice original tidy car. Yeah, exactly. It's funny. It, it's it, it's sort of a basic car actually like i don't but i really awesome. don't mind this car like when it gets nice out now with the exhaust sounds really good yeah uh, big block with the with the dual exhaust and it doesn't it looks i think good with the wheels and tires yeah i um, i like the way it sits i think it's, it's a it, it, it's a good uh, mix of original and with a little couple touches yeah it's awesome so this is actually going to be a dragons then as well 
This will be at the Dragons. Yes. Yep, this year. This year. Uh, it's which is cool because it's a tribute and it's one of the cars that they've done, that's done that's coming back to the show. So if you want to have a closer look, check that out. Hopefully we'll have maybe that truck. We'll see what else is going there. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me get my mind tomorrow. It's all it's all coming up tomorrow. So yeah. setup is tomorrow, and then the Dragons goes nine till nine, both Friday and Saturday. And Saturday. They changed the hours this year. Exactly, yeah. but it's two 12-hour yeah. days which is cool, with lots of time to get down there. I know they're probably gonna have those giveaways for the kiddies again, where they get the, you know, the kids come in and get the Hot yep. Wheels and stuff. They added something new this year. I know they're doing uh, valve cover racing. They've had that in the past. Have they had that in the past? Yeah. yeah, well they're doing it again this year, yeah. so that's, that's cool, yeah. uh, which is gonna be fun. Battle of the Automotive yeah. Technicians is coming again this year. It's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be a great, great time, so. We're also gonna be in our booth. Uh, we'll be doing our uh, uh, pinstriping for charity. Oh, good. So we have, uh, for sure, I know we have Too Tall, we've got Seasick, we've got Brian, and there's another guest artist coming in from Regina I just found out about, so we have four artists, and uh, kind of the same as last year. Awesome. Come watch, it's kind of cool to watch them. Yep, they'll and be, plus be, there's things to, to bid on. And At the end of the show, uh, they'll be all auctioned off, the proceeds all go to the Dragons and, yep. and their charity, and uh, everyone's uh, donating the time and the product that we're doing. So, it, so what are some of the items that are getting pinstriped? Um, do, we have another, do we have another fridge this year? I don't really know. <laughs> I'll let, let somebody else handle that department. Good. It'll be a surprise. Yeah. We'll be able to show you when we come to you with a, a video from Dragons and we can, we can show that then. Maybe another toilet seat. Uh, probably. Those are pretty hot items. They were, you know what? Th that was one of the more popular ones last year. <laughs> I don't know why, but it was. A pinstripe crapper seat. Yeah. Mine's yeah. hanging up in my home shop. <laughs> I don't know. What is coming to Rod's Hot Rod soon? We got like... I left my sheet in my office, so I'll try to remember. Okay, so Gary's on his way back as we speak right now with uh, the 70 Challenger RT. A lot of people have been asking about this. Gonna so it's be here. actually going to be in the building tonight. Yep. For sure. And with that, <laughs> this is a special one. Um, I, I could say that we're, we're going to have one. Not many uh, people can say that. We have a 68 Mustang Fastback coming. Yep. It's not your regular fastback. It's got a big motor, kind of a resto mod. Cool. Kind of deal. Um, Scott, tomorrow is bringing back that 78 K10 4x4 short box. We mentioned that. Yep. As well as a 1970 C10 short box lowered, really nice looking uh, short box truck. Awesome. And then we still have that 55 Chevy uh, big window short box truck coming. Mm hmm. And also a 72 Cheval coming. Sweet. And an 88 IROC. An 88 IROC. Yeah. Another Camaro. Cool. That's it, I think. I'm probably missing a couple, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see next week of boy, how much damage that I do. Well, we got a lot of sold signs in here, but if you still see something you like in this video that you want to call your own, go to rodshotrods.ca because you can find all the pictures and pricing there. Like we've said this whole video through, we will see you at the 61st annual Dragon's Rod and Custom Car Show this weekend, Prairie Land Park, 9 to 9. Catch you there, and we'll see you on the next episode of Hot Rod Hangout.